She lived during the time of Columbus. She lived during the time of the Renaissance masters. She lived in the time of a lot of turmoil. And yet, she was a rock in the midst of the storm. In this house, all must be friends, all must be loved, all must be held dear, all must be helped. That prayer that she wrote was exactly the way we were raised in our family. My mom and dad were a great team, but my mom definitely held each of us dear. She loved us all. She helped us when we needed it. She was a friend to us in the sense of being there. In the first chapter of the interior castle, she said, it's unfortunate that people don't know where they come from. And yet, to realize the presence of God within is at the heart of what we are. So whatever we're called to do, it's relational. She sought God and spent years reaching to God and then found more and more deeper levels of spirituality. And ultimately, she said, God is found in the neighbor and in serving the neighbor, and that that represents very much who we are and what we believe. Her whole life mission was to bring people back to an authentic faith. The convents had become worldly and were worried about money and keeping things going, where she brought it back to prayer. She was really a person of integrity, and that's what I tell our students. Be who you really are, and that's what she was trying to get us to do. She was seeking the help of the Holy Spirit, and she found it, and then she shared it. I feel like the same experience that she had, all of us can have. What a wonderful creature that God gave us to lead us in His way.